Well, good morning, and thank you very much for joining us. Hope everyone is hanging in there. Uh, our guest today is Shigun Idowu, Executive Director of the Black Economic Council of Massachusetts. That's an organization of hundreds of black business executives and community leaders who are devoted to advancing black community empowerment and economic empowerment. So let's talk a little bit about that goal with our guest. Shigun, welcome. Good to have you. Thank you for having me. So we're seeing this outpouring of rhetorical support for racial justice from corporate America over the last couple of weeks in the wake of the George Floyd killing. Companies like PayPal and Amazon have pledged millions of dollars to various causes. Is this potentially seed money for the black economic empowerment that you are working toward? And if it's going to really help, how much more putting your money where your mouth is do you need to see? Well, that's a great question, John. I appreciate your asking that and for having me uh, this morning. Um, so you're absolutely right. We've seen uh, a shift, I would say, in how uh, or in the response of corporate America in particular uh, to recent events, uh, something that we haven't seen before. Um, and, you know, we have seen some national companies putting, uh, putting up money uh, in order to attempt to begin to solve this, uh, the problem of systemic racism. I think it's a good start. Uh, what I would love to see, uh, particularly in Massachusetts, are Massachusetts-based companies uh, who reap uh, much of their profits from black and brown communities, uh, stepping up to the same plate uh, and delivering uh, some type of capital uh, that would help to grow black businesses and black communities throughout the Commonwealth. It almost seems as if black economic empowerment is constantly facing uh, some kind of very toxic enemy, uh, whether it's uh, whether it's a white mob, whether it's uh, redlining or discriminatory uh, loan practice, lending practices, or whether it's civil unrest where uh, riots leave uh, a black commercial development in ruins. Uh, how do you break this cycle? Well, again, you know, part of it is uh, this investment uh, via capital. Uh, you know, as you just pointed out, uh, one of the barriers to the growth of either black business or black communities in general is the lack of access to capital. It's one of the biggest barriers facing our entire community. Uh, and so, you know, here, here's the thing for me uh, and, and those who are members and those on our board, we've never quite understood uh, why, uh, uh, particularly white Americans, have been afraid of black development. I mean, the, the only, for, for us, you know, we, we are guided by a recent report that just came out from McKinsey and Company that showed that if we closed the racial wealth gap in this country, we would add one and a half trillion dollars to the national economy in less than 10 years. That can only be good uh, for all of us uh, here in the United States, and particularly here in the Commonwealth. So for us, it's that investment in capital. It's ensuring that the people who are in charge of these companies uh, also reflect the community and allowing us to provide the technical support to ensure that all of our businesses not only have access to that capital, uh, but to the necessary resources to grow their business on a continual basis. And, and uh, just before we take the break, I, I don't want to be too cynical here. I want to give plenty of out credit for the altruism of corporate executives and others who are stepping forward in this moment, many of whom have a track record of stepping forward. But it's clear, isn't it, from this recent outpouring that corporate America covets the disposable income of black consumers, right? Absolutely. I mean, you know, every year there is a, a number put out, I, I think it's uh, over $2 trillion now in terms of the buying power of African Americans in this country. We know that it's uh, several billion dollars worth uh, here in the Commonwealth alone. Um, so, you know, black culture is driving American culture right now, not only right now, but throughout our history. And so, you know, what, what uh, is apparent, as you said, is that companies uh, certainly see the value uh, in black dollars. Uh, and so now we want to ensure that they see uh, for, uh, for the rest of the, our history, uh, the the, uh, the value in black lives and uh, investing in that and in, again ensuring that we have access to all the resources necessary uh, to grow and contribute to our communities. 